Hi guys. Hi all. Hi everyone. I can smell the bakers. Oh, it's probably one of the biggest perks of living here. Anyway, my digital clock is still sitting there ticking away on two brand new JCB batteries. I've got the blue ones in there, not the red ones like as in that box behind it. The blue ones are um, apparently designed for um, heavier use. I did buy them for a reason, but I can't remember what I bought them for. But as I weren't actually using them for the intended purpose, I thought I'd just stick them in here and run my clock. See how long this will uh, run for on a couple of brand spanking new batteries. So, we'll see. Nearly 24 hours so far, but I'm not going to do an update every day. Right. The only other thing I've been doing is, uh, I've had a tidy up in here. I've fixed the front light on Grandpa. That was just an issue with a loose dralia. The dralia kept dropping down off the wheel and wasn't being spun correctly. So it wasn't generating the correct power. So I have to fix that. Uh, he's out on the landing now, and look at that sky. I'd say that was going to piss it there. Again, no surprise there. Is that an Audi? It looks very much like an Audi parked out there. And she's the cleaner. The cleaning lid there for the council office. Fuck knows what accent that was supposed to be. I haven't got a clue. I just slip into random accents every now and again. Right, well, apart from cleaning up in here and fixing Grandpa again, I haven't done anything, not really. Been to Sainsbury's and Lidl's to get dinner and some coke. Not seen Mum for two days now because of uh, her work schedule. She's actually employed as a cleaner, but because she's passed all the checks and done caring in the past, I've now got this habit of calling her on to uh, cover if they get short-staffed. <laughs> so, um, she can only do so many hours a week, though, because of her benefits. It'll affect her benefits if she do over the hours. <clears throat> because it's legit, um, she can't take that risk. It'd be all right if that was cash in hand. <laughs> if it was cash in hand, it wouldn't matter. But when you're working for a legitimate business that does legitimate books, you can't take that risk. Right. Pull this lock to bed. Got my LED maxi light up there, and I, I took the Nissan mono lamp off the end there, slid everything along so I could get the, my new maxi light, which is this one my fingers pointing right at, and my Dorman 360 up in the shelf. Nissan mono lamp is over there, along with my other paraffin lamp. I wouldn't actually mind getting at some point in the future, no rush, some more different paraffin lamps just to put on this shelf. So I can make that as primarily a paraffin lamp shelf. And this red one here on the um on the left, as we look at it, is a uh, full of paraffin. That'd be fun. <coughs> That to clean up down there because uh, I was sick this morning. I'm actually getting quite worried because it's like two mornings in a row he's done it. Well, at least he's done it over here out the way, not right where I've got to walk. <sighs> he does it once. Keep an eye on him. The scrap that I had up here has gone down on the trailer as well. The old bike tar, the old my old set of forks, the old bike wheel from my uh, orange shopper. That's all gone down on the trailer. <coughs> so I'll be 
the room up here, got a bag of bike parts here to sort through at some point. Duh. Pardon me. I'm going to taste like spaghetti bolognese, that's what I had for dinner. Bah. Microwave spaghetti bolognese, those. This I'm going to take to Mum's when I next go. It's just a ceiling row, standard 5 amp stealing row. Stealing? Ceiling rows, rather, not a stealing rows. Uh, it's just going to look tidier than. If you look at my. Um, I think it was. Not the first workshop tour I did. But one of them I did where I point. I think it's the one I. Where I was pointing out what I'd done electric wise. And I'd used like um, a switch back box with a blank plate on it just to cover up the connection. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in its place and connect the wires into this. Like I did with one of the other fluorescent lights. Because the um, lighting points in that workshop weren't where I needed them. Because <laughs> obviously it was um, a mobile home at one point. <clears throat> and we've just completely guarded it and turned it into one big workshop. Uh, you can tell it's cooler. We've got a t-shirt on. And is it showing up in the reflection? Here yeah, it is. I'm not walking around topless. Right. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Sure, I just got a whiff of something perfumey. Mum's supposed to ring me tonight, but that is if A, she doesn't fall asleep, and B, if she remembers. <laughs> Absolutely a jet shit's been going on on the wonderful world that is Facebook. Although, in the wonderful world of YouTube, I do watch, um, I think most who watch me have probably heard of this guy, Boogie2988. He was hacked. Someone had managed to contact Verizon and get his phone number, and then managed to hack into all his accounts, his Facebook, his YouTube, his PayPal, everything. What the fuck Verizon was doing actually handing out a phone number like that? I don't know. That was just ridiculous. He sorted it all now. That was just absolutely ridiculous that someone on Verizon's customer service just handed out Boogie's number just like that. Except you know, any Tom, Dick or Harry that phoned up. That's ridiculous. And a breach of security. That is a breach. Security breach, you know. I need to retrain their staff, I think, if that's what Ver Verizon do. We don't have Verizon over here in England. <clears throat> well... That's actually not a bad thing, to be honest, if that's what Verizon do. <coughs> you know your phone up, pretending to be someone you're not, and they hand you your bloody phone number. You don't give out the... Oh, it's a bag in the bin, I wouldn't like cracking that. You don't give out bloody numbers like that. You don't give out any information unless the person you're talking to can prove they are who they say they are. Hence why, when you phone up customer service, I'll usually ask you questions only the account holder should know. Such as your date of birth, sometimes your home address, the number you are, if it's like you're phoning up because there's a problem with your phone or your internet. I'll ask you for the phone number just to confirm you are who you say you are. 
<clears throat> if it's the DWP, they'll ask you for your um, national insurance number. But that was I couldn't believe it when I heard that. I did see something where it said, um, it was in this recommended bit on YouTube where it said, uh, big YouTubers suddenly kicked off YouTube and Boogie was in the, um, in the thumbnail. Once you got told on YouTube I should lose some weight. True. But, uh, there's people a lot bigger than me out there. Ah, you bastard! I wasn't ready for that. And he stuck his claws in. And then he uses his claws to jump off as well. Now he's pissed off to the bedroom. <laughs> <sighs> You're lucky, because normally I'd call him a fucking bastard for that. <sighs> VidCon! I'll never be a big enough tuber for something like that. Well... If I actually had the cash and a passport, I could still go if I wanted to, but... Thank you, you bag sheep. Same notifications, anything useful? You just love it when groups mimic your own group name. Looks like my cousin, or one of my cousins, has just got married. Kept that bloody quiet. Didn't get an invite, but I probably wouldn't have gone anyway. <laughs> I'm not the sort of person for such things, or parties, or anything like that. It's a shame people, more people didn't realise this one. I've actually seen other different photographs of this, but it says the same thing. When you buy from a small business, you're not helping a CEO buy a third holiday home. You're helping a little girl get dance lessons, a little boy his team jersey. Mums and dads put food on the table, a shop local. I do try. And I don't mind paying that little bit extra as well, because obviously... 
a little business will have more overheads, so they've got to charge more. <coughs> Whereas somewhere like a big supermarket or a big department store don't have that many overheads, so they can actually lower the price a little. So I do like that. If you can shop local, shop local. Because it's absolutely correct. I've got nothing against someone buying a third holiday home if they've got the money to do that. If they set up a business and earned it, then good for them. Go out and spend it. I'd rather see them spend it than um, sit on it in a bank and not spend it. I can actually think of the people that I actually know that do that. <laughs> My mum's landlord is one of them. Oh, he does not like spending money. <laughs> Apparently he is actually a millionaire, but I'm not sure if that's true. I know he's a retired pig farmer, um, and I know he's not short of a bob or two. Which, if you don't know what that means, it's British slang for a few pounds. He's not short of a bit of cash, but whether he's a millionaire or not, I don't know. But. Uh, he really doesn't. If he couldn't get away without spending money, like fix something himself, he will. I don't blame him, you know. Why spend money if you don't have to? You know, if, you, if, you, if you know you can fix it yourself, fix it yourself. It's like the um, roof leak on the extension at Mum's house where the bathroom and toilet is and whatnot. Um, to get it fixed, it's going to cost him, if you pay someone to do it, around about five grand. But the thing is, it's a flat roof. I'm sure if me, my stepdad, perhaps a landlord and Biggles got together, we could rip that roof off, buy the plasterboard, redo the plasterboard, redo any woodwork that may have rotted up there as well. Um, the only bit we may need to get someone in to do would be to seal the um, the um, roofing felt because that's got to be sealed. Maybe if the gutter was cleaned out up there, it might also help. But <laughs> Yeah, it's actually in heavy rain that leaks like a sieve, and of course, the main fuse box for the house is in that extension. So, um, that ain't good if water gets on that. That would mean probably one or the whole lot will trip out. That ain't good. And that is not something I'd want to stand there and fix, either, if I can help it. So that's the problem. The longer the landlord leave a leak like that, the more damage it's going to do. Because it's not just going to run in and leak into the property itself. It's going to rot out the wooden beams. It's going to rot out lots of things. Get into the electrics in the ceiling, because, you know, each room's got a light in it. The bathroom light. The toilet light. I don't actually know why they did just put those in one big room, but that's what I'd have done. I wouldn't have put them in two separate rooms like that, I'd have just made one big room. <coughs> Never mind, I didn't design it. Yeah, the actual graft work, we could do ourselves. Stepdad's got all the saws in the workshop, if we had to cut any bits of timber. <clears throat> he knows how to cut plasterboard because he did that one of his um, few years ago actually no more than a few years ago no, about four or five years ago he bought a um, big old shed where they were living bought this big shed put it in the garden put his railway in there he plasterboarded all the walls and ceiling out himself and cut it one night so 
Redoing the ceiling and whatnot in there isn't a problem. Like I said, I don't know how to use a blowtorch or anything to uh, seal up where the roofing felt goes, so that would be a job for someone who knows what they're doing. But the rest of it we could do easily, we could lay the roofing felt easy. <laughs> I actually like that. Getting into a into a relationship with me means I will put up with your shit. I will tell you when I'm fucking pissed off at you, but that doesn't mean I will break up with you. I will tell you you are an asshole but I still love you, and then prob not talk to you for a few hours. Yeah, that sounds like a woman. I get into a relationship knowing there's good and bad days, and I'm willing to get through it with you on all days. I actually like that. No one's perfect. I'm not perfect. But I think I would be a very hard person to live with. Just because I have Asperger's. I would, I would have to find someone who understands the condition, who therefore can understand and help me. <clears throat> or someone willing to learn about it. I mean, mine's not that bad. It could be a hell of a lot worse. <clears throat> you know, there's... I'm not sure about adults, but I know there's kids out there that, with Asperger's Syndrome, or autism, you can just throw it all under the one thing, we'll call it autism, who um, won't even talk. They're non-verbal. They don't say a thing. I actually feel lucky in a sense, because mine could be a lot worse. Mine just seems to affect me more socially. You probably wouldn't believe that, because I can talk to a camera so comfortably. But uh, in person, not so much. And some people may think I'm a bit weird when they talk to me in person, because sometimes I may not even answer. And that's not because I'm being a dick. That's because my brain sometimes has to take time to put together an answer, and by the time it has, it's usually too late to give an answer. It's just, the gears up here sometimes run a little slowly. <laughs> uh, I'm much glad I can poke fun at my own, um, well, technically, disability. It is just classed as a mental disability, but... Apart from the social bit, I don't think it really affects me that much. I mean, I could talk to people in a social situation, but it's usually they have to speak first. Um, and I'm usually not one for asking any questions. That's what I find difficult as well. Returning the questions. So, like, if someone asked about my hobbies or something, or whatever, and I would struggle to spin out the same question to them. Small talk, as they call it. Um, yeah, aside from that, I also find it difficult to uh, make phone calls, especially to places I don't know or people I don't know. I don't know why, really, but that's just how it is with me. 
Oh well, I have got an appointment with a company called Remploy in Large C. I know exactly where it is. I don't need a map because <laughs> um, there's another company that used to be in the same building that I went to before, so I know exactly where it is. Um, but they specialise in helping people with disabilities. So, in getting into work, I mean, I should have said that. See, that's the other thing I struggle with. I struggle with getting my words out, especially in some sort of coherent order. <laughs> and the other thing I have a habit of doing, especially on Facebook, is um, saying things that usually get me into trouble. <laughs> because I'll often type without thinking and then think, oh shit, that didn't sound right, and then people pick up on it and get the wrong end of the stick and all sorts of crap happens. And I start feeling depressed and down because I've pissed people off and I didn't mean to and blame it. <laughs> that's annoying. Yeah, that's probably why I'm not a very good teacher either because I find it hard to explain things. And people want me to show them how to do something on a computer and I just suck at showing people how to do things or trying to teach them how to do things. <clears throat> Oh well. What can I do? It's a condition I'm stuck with for life. It's a condition I've got to live with. But all I can do is live with it and poke fun at it and poke fun at myself. Uh, I do have a bit of a twisted sense of humour as well. <laughs> That's probably why I can have a laugh so much with like my true close friends and especially my mother because they get my humour. They understand my humour and they understand I am just joking but a lot of people that don't know me may um well they have like on Facebook but I suppose with Facebook as well you can't really it's hard to um understand what someone's meaning because it's hard to put feeling into what you're typing. So, it is down to the interpretation of people as well, and how they interpret what you say. So I like using all those little smiley faces and whatnot. <coughs> I am quite a sarky bastard as well. And pedantic. I think that's one of my most annoying features, I am very pedantic. And literal. I can be quite literal. Although I have been literal just for the funny side of it. Like if mum says, can you go and get a tin of beans and put them in a saucepan? She's asked me to do that in the past when I was when I used to live with her. You know, used to live at home. <laughs> or even when I go over there and uh, she's cooking dinner. Because I've always helped her in the kitchen. And... Uh, I have actually literally got the tin of baked beans sealed and put it in a saucepan. <laughs> Not because I took it literally what she said, it's just because I found it amusing. <laughs> but yeah, there is some times I can be a bit lit or take things quite literally. Um, but I like to think I don't do that too often. Unless I am just doing it for the laughs, like the tin of beans in a saucepan. I've done it with sausages as well. It just depends what mood I'm in. Oh. Uh. Mm. Ah. Now I know where you live. Mm. Ooh, Retro Restores put a video up. And RJ the Bike Guy has asked, what is your absolute favourite bike tool? Which one? <laughs> oh, actually, I don't know.
really don't know what my favourite bike specific tool would be. No, I don't know. There's so many out there. Ooh, good question. Oh, good one. Which one do you choose? Free gas for two years, free groceries for five years, your dog lives as long as you do. Having grown up with dogs and knowing how well you can become attached to them and how well they can get under your skin, like little Min did, I'd go for your dog lives as long as you do. Well, the free gas isn't no good to me anyway because I don't have anything with an engine. <laughs> Groceries would be useful. Okay, I'm going to call it quits. Because this camera clicks over at 33 minutes anyway, doesn't it? Or stops and restarts. Just something I forgot about. So, sorry, a bit of just a rambly vlog, but... Aside from cleaning, I didn't really want to film cleaning. Who wants to see that? Oh, look, there's some random fat man cleaning up the flat. <laughs> right. Besides, if Mum hasn't forgotten, she'll phone me soon anyway. Could message my brother. I don't know if my brother would get it. I can't even see him on. Oh well. Oh well. Thanks a lot for watching. If you made it this far, I don't blame you if you didn't. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Like I said, you don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Not a clue.